so there's a quest called well here's here's how i found out about it there's a quest uh when i was looking at my map and i was like oh you know what i'm not doing much else let me go like pick up some treasures and i got handy notes as one of my add-ons and i saw this over here and i'm like grimoire no harm ever came from reading a book and I saw, find the wall with three tiny spiders on it, climb it, and jump down the hole by the top spider. And I was like, read the fleshy grimoire. I'm like, well, Arlie is always making the worst decisions. Why not? <laughs> so I did go in there and look around. And I was like, you know what? I want This is something I want to stream because I want to save this moment. It is a bit of a quest. So it's not, it, the first part of it's very short, but I'm, I'm not even going, I'm not, I'm going to follow the guide <laughs> on wow head, on wow head. Uh, and you do actually have to go a little bit all over the place for this, but, um, let's see what happens. I have the spot marked. on my map. Yes, I put a marker for Mr. Sunflower. Because I love Mr. Sunflower. You never know when you need a Nerubian uh, therapist. So we're going in the if you've not gone to this area. Um, by the way, I do not have the arachnophobia filter on. And I'm warning you right now, because things are about to get very bad uh, where I'm going. So... Just be aware that if, if spiders get to you, yeah, you might want to look away for a little bit. If I could find my way in. That's up there. Yes, it's in this section which looks beautiful but is also terrible. What happened? Where's the. Oh no, did I land in the blood? God damn it. <laughs> Am I too far down? Oh, damn it, I lost the cave. Oh, wait, no, no. I can't reach this. I think I went too far down. It's in this area. Yeah, it's in this area. Now I'm in the right area. All right. I know there's a rare down here and I'm trying not to go after it. Is this the cave entrance? I guess so. No, it's not. It's a different cave entrance. Great. Oh no, it isn't here, it isn't here. Why is this not dying faster? <laughs> you got all those spiders going after you, my friend. Good luck. <laughs> I gotta go in here. So when you enter this cave, it's pretty much the big one. Located here. Um, Handy Notes has something for it, so... I would say probably look for those. And inside, there is. It, it's described on what has a wall with three spiders that are not targetable. That's somewhat helpful, but could be better. Um, am I in the right cave? Is the first question. Oh, that's a cave entrance, and I think the wall is. Yes, they're on the they're on the ceilings. 
And it's hard to notice at first. Am I in the right cave? I don't think I'm in the right cave, actually. No, I gotta be in the right. Oh, here we go. So, if you go all the way, if you look on the, the map, you can see. Uh, it's located roughly around there. Look for this kind of fungusy looking thing. I'd rather not put too much thought into it. And you'll see, you'll actually see them. They're like these little spiders. I'll show you one up, up close. Apologies. Here. You can't target them. But there's three of them. And they're actually there to tell you where to jump. This jump is a little tricky to get over here. <laughs> As you can see. But it is doable. For heaven's sake. Ah, there's a spider there. Alright, I'm just gonna kill that now. Because it's just gonna kill try to eat my face anyway. Alright. So. Yay, I'm poisoned. Now why can't I jump up? Alright. Oh shoot. Yeah, I got in less tries the other Ah, I'm on it. Okay, so this is this is where it gets tricky. So like don't try to jump it, just like, scooch. And then you'll see the third one up here, and then you just jump down this particular hole. Whee! And you land into a polar void. You've got these floating candle. Wait, where are the floating candles? There's floating candles over there. Uh, behind you, this portal will take you out. You know, for, for old time's sake. <laughs> there's a little, there's a little in this off eye. Little, little in this off eye. No, just just chilling. You can't click on it. You can't do anything with it. Just, just let it look around. It doesn't seem interested in you at all. You know, it's not like it doesn't follow you around. It's just like, why am I here? <laughs> it's like, why am I here? Like, why am I here? Why did I jump down that hole? That was totally suspicious. Uh, okay, so... Sorry. What I'm doing is getting my screenshot for the video, for the highlight tomorrow. So that's why it's still here. Alright. It just makes it easier if I remember. That will be a good shot for doing a, a highlight of this. I don't know what kind of beast bones this is. However, well, let's actually take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. It's big. Now, Nerubians are insectoids, so I they have... I want to say exoskeletons, so they wouldn't have skeletons like this. And the two piece jutting out near Nozot's eye almost look like wing bones, but not really. Whatever this was in here is was huge. Not super duper huge, but you know, dragon sized. Substantial dragon sized. You know, maybe aspect sized. Also, at the bottom of this void pool, and swimming up closer doesn't reveal anything major, is this weird, and you can swim in it apparently, um, fibrous blob of nothingness. When you're in here, there's no debuff or anything.
And the music in here, I think, is different from the rest of the area above. So, you know. Hmm. But over here, because you're probably like, what is, what is that over there? Why is she talking about what is that over there? Yeah, over here. <laughs> um, well, there's these floating candles. Some more bones. There's a pair of... Uh, yeah. And uh, some text here that... Oh, do I have my thing that helps me understand? I can't read it. Uh, more candles, little crispy bodies, and uh, right here, still burning up. Looks like possibly the last person to perform the ceremony or sacrifice. We don't know. There is a, a dubious circle on the ground that... I don't know if it actually looks uh, Black Empire speech. I don't know. It doesn't look like other iterations of it. It looks different, but it could just be it's an asset they use that looked voidy. So <laughs> it could just be that simple. But here's the most interesting thing. No, not the burning corpses. No, it's not that. It's our book. Fleshy Grimoire. Uh, interact with Fleshy Grimoire. Reading aloud. Oops. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. So now there are five... other me's that are not really me. Um, can't click on the book again. So I should probably do something about that, right? <laughs> Now, I don't know if the game actually tells you where to find yourself. And when you come out, you come out at this graveyard here, which is located here. So I'm leaving the uh, cave entrance marker up for now so I can find my way back there. So there were five of me out in the world. Supposedly, you have to look for them in a specific order. Um, one of them happens to be close by, so it's in Mamara. I do like how like Mamal is is almost invisible and tucked away in here. There's a whole to little town and, and you don't see it until you're right on top of it. And Loam's kind of like that too, but it's much more the case in Mamal. Is it Mamal or Marl? I don't know. It's an evil copy. I'm only doing like. Yes, I could try to wait until I find them on my own, but okay, I'm supposedly in here. Because I'm still.
I don't see myself. I uh, just saw some folks were talking about that you need to do it in a specific order. But I thought this one was the first one. Maybe not. Or maybe I'm up here. So I'm not in the tavern drinking or eating? What the hell? What kind of fun is that? So I'm going to go, there is one supposedly in Weaver's Lair, so I'll go there first. Because someone said they went there first and then to the wall, so. It's in the same area, same zone, not a big deal. I don't think I'm going to do the, the earthen today that I was planning on doing. Which would be getting her, her <laughs> heritage armor quest and... Uh, Opening a deduction to the war within, where she gets to pretend that she has no idea where the hell, the Isle, what the hell the Isle of Dorn is. I don't know, guys. I'm going back to the city of Thread just looks so nice. I'm sorry. I get lured towards it. Like a little fly. Oh my god, I talk to myself. Look. Did you find me? I don't know if I like that. I'm the silent protagonist. Don't do that. It's very confusing. I mean, it's a good thing that they wish, like, if you did want to find this on your own, I guess that's how you'd find out, right? All right. It just popped again. Well, now I'm talking, talking to me. Where am I? I don't see myself. I'm literally right on top of myself. It's time to go back. I had a good time as you. What did you do? Oh, I like this game. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then now I'll go back to, uh... I'll go back to, uh, Mamaro. Or Marl. I figured I got a. You prove fascinating. We are all. It's just rep stuff. Watching. Let me go back tomorrow. Not to be confused at Loam. 
Dałam mój mam. I want them to explain more about uh what the deal is with uh Loan and Marl and the Niffin traveling from one to the other. Cause there's also not just Supposedly they don't it doesn't happen often, but it does it has happened. And it's not a short trip. Even if they do go through the earth rather than on top of it, which of course they do. But the fact that it bridges those two parts of the world a little bit more. Hmm, it, it's it's also, and I realize it's a silly thing and probably shouldn't factor into anything much, but Mr. Sunflower, uh, when you're going on the, the, the sniffing things with M Merit, um, one of the things you find is Mr. Sunflower. And, I mean, which means Mr. Sunflower was able to get closer to Zerla Caverns. So... There must be something. Because on a map, Kaz Elgar and the Dragon Isles are opposite ends of the map. But if they go, th like, this is in the shape of a globe, but if they go through. Huh. Four way is probably the next part of what's going to happen. And I'm wondering if the core goes to the core. That might connect a whole bunch of different areas. I can imagine like Neltharin would have had, wanted to have access to that. Is the molten is the molten core in like the core? <laughs> Was it above the core or? I'm supposedly in here. Well, what happened last time is I walked in. I haven't spoken to myself yet. Ah, I just did. Did you find me? Why didn't I wear brighter clothes today? I'm not on top, am I? On top. I don't think I can target myself. I'm 
Where am I? <laughs> am I inside? No. It's just a random assembly of junk. It's not me. I am not a randomly assembled assembly of junk. I don't know. I don't really trust Venture Company, to be honest with me, really. anyone will say anything if I put my barter boss title <laughs> and wear my hat. See anything that tickles your fancy? <laughs> or your nose? Tantish a bunch! <laughs> I should try that at some point. Put on the, the hat and the uh... Well the thing is will my copy have a cop will have that copy have the hat on? Where am I? Okay. People are fighting on Wowhead. Not fighting, but they're debating on Wowhead. But it has to be done in a certain order or not. Um, all right. Supposing you can target them. Okay. I been all right so that works I'm down there oh I'm over there oh yeah I was nowhere near there I was nowhere near there again <laughs> okay what is making that noise all right next one is where we have one at Farron's advance and Ma oh they're all under here they're all under here somewhere so Farron's advance and wild camp orderly so they're all they're all in this this zone all in notch cat i forget the hell whatever that noise is the goblins and the niffin chilling side by side is is an interesting combo i have to say I didn't see it. On the other hand... I mean, if there aren't pushovers... Well, the goblins do make very interesting smells. So, win wins? I don't know. It's just interesting. I never saw, like... Them forming a, uh... It was crazy. A partnership. And I mean, I've seen at least one theory that, uh... Goblins are going to be the next big thing. 
We're seeing hints of it. It's not going to come out of nowhere. And if the goblins dig too deep or too greedily... Might find out a little bit... They might find out... May find something they didn't mean to. It won't be the first time. Someone's a car alarm is going off. It's very distracting. Alright. Now I need to find myself. Which apparently I'm right over here. Hey, Farron, have you seen another one of me around lately? And what have I been doing? That's the important thing. That's a very annoying alarm out there. If I were me, where would I be? Well, I whispered to myself. Oh, I'm, leave I'm back this way. All right, fine. Ah, I'm up there. It's time to go back. I like this game. Two more to go. Wait, no. Was it five or four? Oh, there's only four. I don't know why I thought there were five. Alright, so the next one is in, uh... Wild Camp Orlay, which isn't too far. Relatively speaking. <laughs> no, well... Oh, did I not? There we go. Okay, it is a little... It's a little far. <laughs> but no. It's not like this. Like at this point in the game, every little bit helps. Ooh, there's a there's a world quest. It's a race. Tempting. Those dollar stones. Keep finding chests. I see that rare. No, I don't want to kill it. Oh, 
also the Harnier. I feel like we only got the start of their story. And I'm wondering if they're going to play into it as well. And the only way I can really see them doing it is if, you know, they're minding their own business, they don't want to get involved, and the goblins dig too deep and dig too greedily, and now they're like, now the, like, the roots become threatened. So... Okay, I'm whispering to myself. What? Don't bug these people. Or I'm in the roots. Oh, I'm down there. Okay. It's time to go back. I like this game. And I'll meet you there as soon as I get my chest that I saw over here. Go back to the cave. It is, it is a remarkable city. I mean, okay, a little bit of weirdness. Right. Back to the cave. Can I grab this real quick? Nothing wants to eat my face. That's always good, but nothing wants to eat my face. It's not there. You know that. <laughs> there go. Always trying to figure out what goddamn layer something is on. Like I know, I know it by color and those things that are very, very insecty hive things, which actually is not unlike. Oh, really? Stop! Stop! Um. The Akir. Is it the Akir? The Akiri? Silitha, no, Sil it's the. Uh... God. Ankaraj? Ashkahet? No, Ashkahet's where we are.
I suppose it is a rare in here. Or above it, anyway. It's a shore. It takes a while to orientate myself in here to see it. I don't like you. Nope. 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 Ah, I don't like it. Ooh. Flowers. <laughs> Every time I'm like, nope, 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 flowers! <laughs> Look, man, you get, you get, I getting like, what, two, one, two, or three, three I'm really lucky herbs every time I pick. I will stop to get them. Every time. Where is this thing? Oh, I love when spiders are also in stealth. Fine, be that way. I got poison too. Yeah, that's the entrance. Oh, okay, it actually goes into another side. Got it. Yes, I think it is the river here, right? Yeah, it's past this one with the webby with the floor and the ceiling. <laughs> and then it's like over in this. I know I recorded it earlier. It's like this is where it is, and I completely forgot what I tried to remember for myself. Uh, where are you? No, it was definitely over here somewhere. Ah, it's right here. It is all the perspective in which you come in on. Like you come from in a different direction, you don't see it. And I realize I know like the the it's there, but it's also not. Alright. Alright. Will it go easier this time, I hope? And I'm sure it's fine. All right. And we're just going to take over your life. Sound good? Okay, so I can only speak to this one. No harm ever came from reading a book. I'm only joking. But you do need to say yes. Let us take over? I, at least I'm being... I have a smart option. And only a smart option. No. We are no fun, Leia. No fun at all. Go back in the book, I promise. Bye. <laughs> Oh, uh, do I get to keep the book? No, it's it.
So the book is gone. Your, uh, your four other selves are gone. So, I mean, there are, like, I, maybe it's these four bodies. I don't know. Why would I know why? Oh. I'm gonna put this aside here. Let's put it in the war bank later. This is all junk. 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 Uh, war bank. That's enchanted rune harbinger. Root um, harbinger. I think I can use that to upgrade my, my dinky uh, alchemist stone. Mostly I'm doing it just to boost the eye level so I could it would be cheaper. So yeah, I mean, you can still go back here. Um, all you get is the achievement. Um, no harm ever came from reading a book. Return the evil copies of yourself back to the book after following the spiders. Following the spiders and pillar nest sessions. Following the spiders are just jumping up those levels with the spiders on them. Um, yeah, that's all there is. That's all that is. It's just an achievement. And it's not warband. It's earned by your warband. But you can complete it on others. So uh, clearly, you want to you want to do this if you have other characters you want to chase around. Um, so we've got a, a pull of void here. You'll notice this effect of where if you jump in it, it turns purple. The pool you jump down to in Abris did the same thing, but that actually stacks something that was an achievement, I think, as part of a. Uh, achievements uh you had to have something like that on you i can't remember it exactly but um just a pool of void juice some little malai just here for no reason um yeah so that's that that's a interesting little quest uh Probably not as ominous as uh, the fish quest, but the peculiar fish, because that that was hinting at other things. Whereas this was just like someone left some void crap lying around. <laughs> that always goes well. All right. 